time to get to the pipette reactor. We've seen the plug flow reactor, we've seen the continuous tier tank reactor, and we've seen the batch reactor. How to account for that conversion term. So if you've seen the plug flow reactor or you haven't, please go and see the plug flow reactor because the pack bed reactor is exactly the same. It's very very similar to the plug flow reactor so just go check it out and if you have any doubts uh, send me an email because I don't think you have doubts because it's literally almost the same. So the only thing that changes is of course this rate of reaction is based on the mass of the catalyst and this differential is not volume but mass of catalysts once again but we are still working with flow of A. Now flow of A you know that at any moment is the initial amount of uh, flow of A times the difference in conversion. So let's plug this number here which essentially is this here. I'm going to take it out and I'm, I'm doing this very fast because you've seen it before so yeah let's do this, let's do this, the differential of 1 is, ne is 0 you get this negative then we turn this here and you get the differential form of a packed bed reactor in terms of conversion. Good. Now let's look out for the integral form. Uh, we got this from the previous uh, slide. I want first change this to the right, second change this to the left, also this. So I got this to and I also integrate, sorry but I telling you I don't want to spend time doing this. It's exactly the same as the PFR, 0 and 0, x of a depends on the, on the mass of the catalyst. So I do the integral here, I got this beautiful part here, and I get this. The amount of catalyst that you need to use is given by this function. The flow of A you use at the beginning times the integral of this uh, conversion with respect of rate of reaction <laughs> just to let you know this minus r a here uh, it's a uh, moles of a per unit volume no, per unit mass sorry per unit mass per unit time so very important to know its mass uh, yeah essentially we're done sorry for the rapid introduction and procedures but I told you before if you really want to see it go to the PFR which is I think one video uh, behind or previous this video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.